fight for those who will lay down their life for you. To the second channel, man, and the beat from the intro is provided by Beats by Booth. There's a link in the description below that's going to take you to downloadpads.com. From there, you can find this particular beat off of this particular beat tape because I'm live streaming it and get the contact information via Twitter. And if you holler at me to get some beats, tell them I sent you. But anyway, on to today's reply. Today's reply is to that Lecrae, nothing. And you know, I'm a fan of Lecrae, man. I definitely enjoy his music. And this song is no different, man. He's definitely speaking on some things that definitely need to continue to be said. Even though it's not really a new topic. Like, a lot of people is talking about how rappers in the commercial industry and singles, they really aren't saying anything besides how much money they get, how many women they got, how much drugs they sold, all of that dumb shit. And you know, usually when someone goes down the same exact road as so many other people have been doing, I usually react negative, but how Lecrae articulates it, man, is definitely different from most. And I love how he's not hating on anybody, even though he's straight taking Trinidad James' flow to pretty much expose how they're not saying anything or how their songs are getting played in so much rotation but yet no one understands what these people are saying. Overall, it's just a solid track, man. I definitely recommend people to go ahead and peep it on out. And I definitely want to say, man, there's so much going on in this world, man, for people to be too caught up on the same five, six damn topics in the music industry, man. Like, the more people just remain constant, the same, on the same bullshit, the less time hip-hop will have in the limelight, you feel me? Like, people will eventually get bored of this bullshit and move on to what's next. So, if you are rapping trying to come up, man, definitely come up with some new, unique topics, new, unique styles, new, unique flows, man, and build from there because it's much needed in this industry in order to keep it relevant. But anyway, on to ask, download pass. And few people pretty much was asking me, man, if I would say the things that I say on these videos to the artist's face and shit. And you know, absolutely. fucking -lutely. Now, I'm not saying that I would be the fucking asshole, like, just open up a conversation like, yeah, man, your songs that you've been dropping fucking sucks. No, I'm not going to do that. Honestly, if I were to come across Eminem, I would just say, what's up, be cool about it, man. He would have to ask me about his music in order for me to start talking about his music. And if he asked the wrong fucking question, I will hold his fucking feelings. I'm not saying this based off of how I think I would do. I'm basing this shit off of fact of what I have done in the past, my brother. Like, let me tell you a true story. So about three years ago to this day, man, I was at a pool party. So while I'm at the pool party, I'm just chilling with my cousins and shit, man. In walks the most beautiful woman that I've seen maybe of all my life, my dude. Like, she is a legitimate fucking model like she actually moved from here to LA in order to do that shit except I don't think it probably panned out for her because she's not that damn tall. But so as she walked through the door, man, all of the fake ass rappers that's pretend like they got money trying to holler at her, fake ass drug dealers trying to act like they got money trying to holler at her, all of the simp ass motherfuckers that's just complimenting her on everything, your outfit is so sexy, you're so cute, all of that bullshit, they all trying to holler at her. She only give these niggas like 15 minutes of her time. So as the day is winding down, man, we all end up sitting there watching the fucking BET Awards of all things like this is before I quit watching that shit all together. So I'm sitting on the couch next to her friend which her friend was bad too like she wasn't no 10 like she was a 10 she was like an 8. And with she sitting right next to her and I'm sitting next to my cousins. And then I overhear her say these BET Awards they just keep getting better and better every year. What? And my cousin seen it man he was like low low don't do it don't do it. It is not worth it, my brother. It is not. I turned and looked at him right in his eyes and said, I got to do this, man. So I turned back around and said, did you just say that the BET Awards get better every year? This shit is fucking terrible. It gets worse every fucking year. And you know why it gets worse every fucking year? It is because people are paying to get these motherfucking awards. Like, I went all the way in. And if I'm gonna do that to the chick that I honestly wanted to really get with, like, bring her back to the crib, why the fuck would I hold my tongue to Eminem or somebody like that who's 
never gonna fucking pay me. But to end the entire story, man, like, she respected the fuck out of me just keeping it one fucking thousand with her. We sat up and topped the entire BET Awards, nigga. I actually was about to bring it to the fucking crib until my cousins was like, man, I got to go. I got to catch a flight tomorrow, man. Slid them my cards. Never got a fucking call back. And just kept it motherfucking pushing. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com. That's down there to read today.